often when we think about a decision-making problem, we think about it in terms of having a set of options and trying to choose which of those options is best. But in fact, many of the decisions that we human beings face are ones where we don't even necessarily know what the options are. And there's some cost associated with gathering the information about, say, each of those options or discovering what other options might exist. And so in that context, pretty much every decision we make turns into an optimal stopping problem. And there's a sense in which there's no decision that's any more important than the decision of when it is that we stop. There's a second category of decisions, which are decisions that rather than making a, a single commitment and, and being bound to that, we make the same decisions over and over and over again every day. Um, these typically take the form of things like what restaurant to go to, uh, who to spend time with, what kind of music to listen to. Um, and this tension between um, trying new things and enjoying our favorite things is what computer scientists know as the explore-exploit trade-off. And it comes up in a number of domains. Again, going out to eat, there's this constant tension between going to a place you know and love and the new place that just opened up down the street. Listening to music, we can always put on a classic album uh, or we can listen to the radio and perhaps discover something else we like. Uh, we choose all the time how to budget our time between the people that are closest to us, our spouse, our family, our best friends, and making new connections, that new colleague who joined the office or the uh, new acquaintance you've made that you have uh, some things in common with you want to get to know better. Um, in computer science, we see the same type of trade-off uh, is what's going on behind the scenes, for example, at Google and Facebook when they optimize their advertisements. So for any given keyword, for example, there's this huge pool of ads that they could display next to it. There's always going to be one that historically performed the best, but there's this ever-growing, ever-changing new ads as well that could be better, could be worse. And so how do you allocate which percentage uh, of the ad space you give to which? Or which percentage of you to which? This trade-off also comes up, perhaps most surprisingly, and, and with the highest stakes in medicine, where in a clinical trial, for example, there's this crucial decision between someone, you know, for example, uh, goes into a respiratory arrest, you have to decide, do you give them the best conventional treatment or an experimental treatment? Again, that could be better and could be worse. And there's this complex ethics around this question of uh, what, do, what does the Hippocratic maxim to do no harm mean in a case where we have to weigh between something that we know better and something that we know less well. Computer scientists have been considering this balance for now more than 50 years. 